but that show flops. It closes, they're able to get Jeremy Jordan back, and so he's able to open on Broadway. And um, a phenomenon called the internet has changed a lot of the way that word of mouth and people react to musicals. For example, when Rent opened, not one of my favorite shows either, but um, it had a rabid fan base that would go over and over again. There were people that would camp overnight in front of the Niederlander Theater, which is where Newsies opened, um, and camp out and get the uh, cheap $10 tickets, and it became a phenomenon. These people started knowing each other, talking to each other over the internet, and the fame and fortune of the show grew. That happened with Newsies. And rent, they were called rent heads. <laughs> Newsies are called fancies. <laughs> and people would come and see the show over and over again. Um, and clearly connected with a younger audience like rent did. So it's a huge Broadway hit. And when it comes time for the Tony Awards that year, Newsies wins two, one for its choreography and one, one for its score. So Alan Menken finally got a Tony. And he was not eligible for Tonys with the uh, stage translations of Beauty and the Beast because the music was from another medium and they only uh, award for original score. And there was enough that they had inserted into the Newsy score. About half of it is new um, from the film that the Tony committee could evaluate and finally give Macon an overdue Tony award. Um, that year, the show that actually won was a really interesting piece called Once, which takes place in an Irish bar with live musicians on stage and quite a different experience from Newsies, which again, here's another opinion. Um, award shows are fun to watch, but trying to pair different pieces of subject matter, of styles in the lump story, best or lump category, best musical, and best picture, not everything's created equal. And I'll digress here too, since I'm giving opinions. Um, one of the years that I totally didn't understand was the year that Into the Woods was up against Phantom of the Opera. And Into the Woods won for best book and best music and lyrics. Phantom of the Opera won for best musical. So how can you have the best musical that doesn't bow to the writers? But it's Andrew Lloyd Webber, and we'll uh, move on from yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I'm keeping track of my time. Here's just some really interesting things that I have come across, um, and I got to tell you, but I think you remember that I am a librarian, a retired librarian. So all of the music, all of the information that I'm telling you comes from sources because that's the way that I was trained. So I have 
Um, made sure that you know when I have an opinion, that's what it is. Well, Alan Menken has, I, I have to go back for a second, because Newsies closed on Broadway, it tours across the country, and it's in Los Angeles, and Disney thought that it would be a good thing to film the stage version in a first class way. And they get all of the members of the original cast, principals, back in the theater, um, and they filmed it. And this version you can watch on Disney Plus. Um, the problem, here's another pin, a problem that I have with film versions of Broadway musicals is sometimes I don't want to look where the director or the editor tells you you should look. I want to see what's going on uh, in totality and focus on maybe some of the minor characters, which is the other fun thing about Summer Place's production of Newsies, that all of the Newsies have different personalities and it is so much fun to watch certain ones and see how in the moment they are. And believe me, they're all in the moment. So Disney films this on Broadway. And again, it's another way for them to let the world know that Newsies can be done on stage by anyone who's willing to pay for it. <laughs> and just as a footnote, because we're getting to the 45 minute point and 45 minutes of meat can go a long way. Um, I found an article where Alan Menken starts talking about projects that he'd be interested in. And one is to do the Broadway musical version of Newsies as a live action musical film. So it may be that somewhere down the road, things will evolve and Newsies will be back where it started as a live action musical for Disney. And I suspect that given the success and fan base of the musical, that a new live action version would be a huge success. So that's all I'm gonna say, unless you've got some things that you wanna get off your chest. 